Hi everybody, this is a this is a um, shallow well jet pump. This is used to pump water inside a residential house, a residential dwelling. And this is what I've been tasked to do today. The com customers complaining about having low pressure. So, well, not low pressure. The pressure isn't adequate for them. They are living in a two-story home and the pressure wasn't adequate. So I came and I made the necessary adjustment for them so that they could have adequate pressure. Currently, the pressure that I had set for them is 30 PSI cut in and 50 PSI cut out. So I raised that. I raised the cut out pressure to 60 PSI so that they could have a little bit more pressure when taking their shower. So I'm hoping that this helps. When installing a shallow well jet pump, if you know you're taking water from um, your system over time, you know the rain and the dust on the uh, the rain and the dust on your roof could actually um, let debris, um, dust, or whatever the case may be, flow into your system. So when installing a pump, the best thing to do is to install a water filter, and this would filter out whatever sediments or whatever the case may be that is going inside your home uh, through the pump this would help decrease the debris flowing through your system um, also if and if you feel like adding something else to your household you could do something a little bit more robust you could go online there are different types of filters that you could use to put in your line to you know enhance your water quality you know sometimes if you live in an area water is hard then you know you could buy something to treat that on your system if you have something that if your water is um, a little bit too has in too much chlorine then you could buy another filter that would handle that chlorine and whatever the case may be so yeah that is what you could do so those are just different options available but for now these people they just wanted adequate pressure because the water quality here is quite all right so you know um, they're using their cistern sometime if we, if it hasn't rained for a long while what they would do they would fill their cistern with um, water from the government supply and then they would have that pump to their house and the reason why they wouldn't have the water coming from the government straight into their household is because they live um, in close proximity to the tank so the pressure that is coming to their household is not adequate so they would then have to get a pump and boost the water to their house recently i had a scala booster pump that some ground fuss installed but that gave out i'm not certain what was the reasoning for it to give out because it's supposed to be fully protected but i never i never know what happened so if you look here on the pump there's a pressure switch this is what i use to control the pressure on the left you'll see um, a hexagon nut and under each hexagon nut you'll see a washer fitted with some springs on the left side that's your cut out well, sorry that's your cut in pressure the hexagon nut on your left side that's your cut in pressure the one on your right side which is a smaller spring with a smaller washer that one is your cut out pressure so like I said in order to adjust your pressure you would turn your turn the nuts you take a socket or you could use an adjustable and turn the nuts and turning them clockwise would increase the pressure turning them counterclockwise would dep decrease the pressure so like i said uh, this one i set to 30 50 so i changed it the customer will complain about low pressure so i increase it from 30 50 to 30 60 hopefully that suits their need and i'll see you guys in another video